Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. We are still in Paraguay in Encarnacion and today is gonna be very eventful. I arrived Sunday night and today's Tuesday. I didn't do anything yesterday really. It was, I mean, even today it's kind of, if you see the weather, it's kind of cloudy and rainy. I slept in cause I've been running on very little sleep this past weekend i guess the world cup started so i watched like all the games yesterday i also went out for a little bit like first to get some snacks and to walk around plaza de armas which is like the main square here overall yesterday was pretty chill pretty nice and today is gonna be like my big day in encarnacion and the surrounding area so that should be really exciting and i can't wait for you guys to see everything in Trinidad two hours later. The past two hours have been a test of my patience. <laughs> I arrived at the bus station and it was already very hectic. Everyone was like, come on my bus. And I was like, oh my God. Ah. And then I finally found a dude and I was like, oh, I'm trying to go to Trinidad. And he said, okay, this bus leaves in like 30 minutes. That was cool. While I waited, I got a coffee and that was like fine and chill. And then I got on the bus. <laughs> It took like 30 to 45 minutes to finally leave. And then we had to switch buses. I don't really know what happened. So like I got on the bus at 9.30 and I didn't get here until, I need to see what time it is. It's almost 11.30. If you look on the map, it's like a 30 minute drive. It's not that far. But from the time I got on the bus to the time I'm getting to these ruins, it took me two hours. <laughs> Oh yeah, the bus was super chaotic too because like all these people kept coming on the bus trying to sell me something and I was like, oh my god, I cannot talk anymore. Like, I need to be left alone. I feel bad. This is just how things are here. Like, what am I going to do? But anyway, I made it. Hopefully everything goes more smoothly from now on. yeah look at that so i am in the jesuit missions in trinidad from what i'm understanding there's like a native group in paraguay the guarani and when the spanish arrived they i guess wanted to set up these missions to bring christianity over they were primarily for religious purposes like that's why they are here but i think they were also trying to ed just educate them as like in general this one was established back in the 1700s so quite a while ago it's really cool to walk around and i've seen maybe five other people here so it's pretty empty and it's pretty serene just walking around there's not really much information in this area you just kind of wander and look at the different ruins but when you arrive here in the tourist information center thing um there's like a guided tour every once in a while here and while I was talking they passed by me so that's great. It's in Spanish hence why I'm not on it and I believe it's free so good stuff if you seek or understand Spanish. That's been kind of an issue for me. I need to actually practice my Spanish. I'm not that good at it. Portuguese, I got English, I got Spanish. I know enough to get by but not enough to like or people are just like you're here and you don't know Spanish? I'm like I don't know. Anyway I forgot what I was saying. Oh, so I'm out when you arrive here. So in the tourist information center, when you buy your ticket, there's also like a free movie, like a movie included about the missions, when they were established and kind of the historical context behind it all. And there's also like this pamphlet thing that you can read. Um, they have it like on the walls in Spanish and then you can also get English, Portuguese and Guarani. And after that, you're just kind of on your own exploring, so. That's what I'm doing. So I've officially 
actually walked all over and I am pretty hungry now. So I'm gonna go find somewhere to eat. I really enjoyed walking around here. I don't know if any of you guys have ever played Uncharted, um, but I definitely felt like I was in that game. Just like walking around these ruins. I don't know. <laughs> Nathan Drake vibes. Um, also, there's all these birds everywhere. They're kind of scary. Not really, but like whenever I walk by them, they like start shrieking and they're like, this woman, I feel like they're gonna attack me. Maybe, they're probably not, but like, you know what I mean? Um, also, there's these holes in the ground and I fell into one at one point, so <laughs> be careful with that. This is a quick, nice little thing to do here in Encarnacion. I would recommend it. I had fun just walking around. It's very peaceful. Also, I don't know if I talked about this, but the ticket not only gives you access to the ruins in Trinidad, which is where I am. These birds! Oh my god. Okay. It also gives you access to- I didn't know about this one, but this one I knew about. I'm gonna try to go to this one. We'll see how well that works. I don't know about that one. But yeah. People say the Trinidad's the best. It's like the biggest, but I've also heard recommendations for Jesus de Pavarangue. <laughs> and the ticket costs 25,000 Guarani for foreigners, which is like a little under four dollars. I am now at the ruins in Tavarangue. Before I get into all that, I've got lunch at this restaurant right outside of the other ruins in Trinidad and it was super nice. Um, I got empanadas, I got sopa paraguaya, which is um, a traditional dish here. I did not eat all of it, it was definitely too much food, but it's fine, it was all super good, the guy was super nice, there were all these cute dogs outside, and then I was like, I'm gonna visit the Tavarangue ruins. To get here, I told the woman in the tourist office, like, oh, I wanna come here, and she called me a taxi, and he brought me here, he's waiting for me, I have like 20 more minutes, he's gonna bring me back to where I can get the bus back to Encarnacion, and that taxi cost 80,000 Guarani, and I watched a movie, um, when I got here, it was eight minutes and it was cute. I liked it more than the one at Trinidad. And there's also like an audio guide tour thing throughout the ruins, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't want to keep the taxi guy waiting though, so I decided not to do it, but they have a bunch of different languages you can choose from, and that might be useful if you just want to learn more. the Trinidad ruins are definitely more fun to explore. There's, it's just like a bigger complex, but the ones in Tavarangue just have better signage, it's better organized. I don't know if that makes sense. Like one is like cooler, like, like no, one is like bigger, grander, and this one is just more set up for success for visitors, if that makes sense. But yeah, they're both equally cool. I made it back to Encarnacion after the taxi driver dropped me off at the road, I guess, to get the bus. I waited there for like an hour. The bus eventually came and I made it back to Encarnacion fairly quickly. And since then, I've just been on a little walk. I walked from the bus station down to the waterfront past like this cathedral along the way and walked along Playa San Jose, which it I think is really nice to relax at on a beautiful day. Um, the sky is clearing up, which is great. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to keep walking along the waterfront. There's one more thing I want to see. And then after all that, I'm going to head back to the hostel. So I just got back to my hostel and... Yeah, I was walking for like two and a half hours. It was really great. Today was awesome. Very long, but very amazing. I'm gonna have a chill night. And then tomorrow I head to Puerto Iguazu. Um, that'll also be part of this vlog, so I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Weird lighting, but it is late at night. Not really that late, it's like 10 o'clock. But anyway, I made it to Puerto Iguazu. I didn't do much in Encarnacion. After that big day, I went and got dinner. 
watch the sunset for a little bit, which is beautiful. And yeah, just relaxed. And then this morning I woke up. I first had to cross the Posadas to get the bus from there to Puerto Iguazu. But to get there, first I took an Uber to the train station. Then at the train station, I took the train from Encarnacion to Posadas. And then from there I took a taxi to the bus station. I got my ticket and had some breakfast and then I boarded my bus. So I've been kind of chilling in Puerto Iguazu. Uh, I tried getting money from Western Union. That did not work out. Hopefully in the next vlog I'll have cash. Also made some friends. I think I'm gonna go out with them in a little bit. They're like finishing up dinner and then I'll just like hang out for a little bit. I also had dinner with one of the girls I met back in Asuncion. So that was really great. And yeah, today was pretty good. It was really chill. I'm happy I'm here. It is crazy. I'll get more into the Iguazu experience in the next video. So until then...